Welcome to part 10 in the new Mart slash MBTA intermodel slash parking garage construction project. Still using the old brick. The good one is still out for repairs. And I typically don't do these videos at night because the visibility is poor. However, the very next day after putting the part 9 series together where I said the next part might be steel something happened the, and that is steel however this is Tuesday and it was raining yesterday so I could not come out here and show this to you I know it's going to look really terrible because like I said it's dark but at least you know we got it pretty much when for the most part they started I won't be able to be here this Saturday and this would be way too far along so here we are at the elevator shaft portion the part where I say they've completely neglected until now the elevator shaft in which is there in the machine room to it right there are not going to receive steel that will be a concrete block construction everything else will be steel such as the staircases we can kind of see here like right down there is where it starts and then that uh that filled in void that you can't get to if the piping under there broke is the landing and then you're at the next landing next landing and what's interesting here about this landing is it's nice and flat on this side and the opposite side is a rounded corner anyway you go from there to that landing and that's as far as they went vertically also visible and we're gonna go around this pole again we can see sort of right where that pave that pavement is it goes up that up those steel plates that are along the sides I've seen in many of the videos ultimately reaching that level there and comes to this point and turns around and as you can kind of see here the steel is all crooked because it's part of the ramp system and then it this is ultimately the second level now it's a three-story garage however this part of it appears to be this little section here is a four-story section as we got this which I don't know what it's gonna be and it's unpaved so it's concrete it's probably I have no clue security office or something no idea and then we got the first level which ultimately ends here and then the far end would be the second and then the third and you can tell by the fins that are on the side first deck for the second and where it terminates that's where the railing for the third floor will be so we got that and it's gonna be hard to see because it because of the darkness but over here it's showing up a little bit we got more steel girders all lined up along here in the freshly leveled gravel which will be a mess and have to be redone and again there are the four columns that is the only non-continuous portion of the foundation structure and here it is again the steel from this side and another thing I like about the other brick outside of you would be able to see this a little better the wide it's a wider angle and more of this would fit in the image so let's just go back here a little bit more and there we have it and yeah in person it's easier to see how tall this whole thing is gonna be here's the ground and there's the top level and of course the 
and of course the stairwell and elevator pit I mean elevator shaft will go higher and again no steel for the shaft that'll probably be a spring project I've been wrong many a time on what they are and are not doing here until the spring so that is what we got for you okay I did say I was done but I thought you might want to see it from this side the street side of things there we are and there's the wall look at the height between the first level and the start of the second that's huge that's like 20 feet and there's all the structure for the stairs minus the elevator machine room and there are no cars coming so I don't have any sense of scale here but like I said during the day we'll take another look and again as I said not sure when December 18th 2012 and I got my YouTube brick back because I can shoot in very dark lighting however when I do that the image will get very streaky and this thing has a wider angle anyway let's just readjust this so it's a little okay that's too far that's okay right there it'll be slightly streaky Anyway, they're not going to do anything with the elevator shaft, but now we've got, depending on which side you are, two of the three floors done, or all three done. Now, I'm just going to go over this way and once again explain how this works. The way the hill is situated, the back side over there follows the hill, which makes up part of the ramp system. However, this whole hill here is very steep and in most of your ramp systems, that's where you tend to lose a floor. But in this garage, they're going to have three floors throughout. So that really tall section, it's 20 feet, will be the first floor, second floor, and third floor. So they got all three floor decks pretty much laid out in two spans on that side and like I said because of the hill this deck closest to us is technically the first floor and once you make this corner you're on the second so this is first and that's second and when I get the decking here that'll be second and third and what's hard to see here, and like I said, I gotta come back during the day. On the very ends right there, let me, wrong way again. Those little stubs you see, that's the top of the steel and that is going to be for the railings. Meanwhile, over here, I really, wheel's a little sensitive. This is the first floor. They laid the second floor and the very top will be the third floor. Now, one of the things that I find very disturbing and is that we have cantilevers here. Not just any cantilevers. Cantilevers are no real physical support. And if that is where cars can park, that makes me a little nervous. I mean, as a brand new structure, no problem. But over time, when things rust, problem. And here we got, we got about, I'm guessing, 20 foot span here with almost no support except for that brace right there. And the only thing that's holding that up, besides the screws that are there, I mean the bolts are four bolts and they're not in they're not in compression they're in tension because the beam does not go flush to the beam there and there so it's a tension fitting again they gotta really make sure this thing doesn't rust because they gotta collapse that 
could happen if it's poorly maintained. Then we got more of the steel work for the stairwell. Landing for the third or second level, depending on how you look at it. And I'm not 100% sure how the floors are going to be numbered because, like I said, in most garage systems, you lose a floor where the ramp system is located. They're maintaining all three floors throughout. So maybe it's going to be one, two, three, and four, which isn't even done. Or it's going to be lower level one, two, three. Or they might go Euro and do the ground one, two, three numbering system. That remains to be seen. Anyway, here's this cantilever system, which we can see better on this other side. And I work for a company that we didn't, we never tested these bolts. Or maybe they might even be rivets. But here's the cantilever with absolutely nothing supporting it underneath. Let me brighten it up for you. There we go. See, zero underneath it. And we zoom in. I know that bolts that my place can uh, do a load test on, that each one could easily handle two cars, never mind the whole series. So initially, there wouldn't be a problem here. If this garage gets neglected, yeah, that's a problem. And I believe it's going to happen there and the third floor that doesn't exist yet. So we can also see, whoops, wrong way. See, now I got used to the original camera. So now that I got my YouTube brick back, now I gotta get used to it again. We got more of this corrugated steel here. My guess is they're going to lay out the entire steel frame and outside of where they need to walk to set things, set all that later. Which makes perfectly good sense, because that's a little time kill between winter and the spring when supposedly this whole thing would be done. And here again, let me hold it still here. And too far, too far, a little too sensitive here. Here are your beams. And over here, I believe that is more of the uh, corrugated stuff, which ultimately concrete will get poured onto. Because this looks like it's being built the same way the Fitchburg one was. Except for the most part, this one only has three floors. And that's this update. Next update, it should be when it's nice and sunny. December 23rd, 2012. I told you I was gonna come here during the day and here we are. And it looks like we're really low on steel. Apparently the first shipment is almost finished. Anyway, here's a good look at it from a day perspective. And right away I see, see something wrong there? Look at that nice, really straight line. And by straight, I mean Obviously, lowest bitter steel. And here's the cantilever that I told you about. You get a nice look at it in a day. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing supporting these three sections, except for rivets or, or bolts, whatever they may be. I think they're rivets. So, here we go. And, oh, look at that. I hope they're gonna come back and fix these, you know. I <laughs> I was saying, no problem for the first couple of years parking on this, and I wouldn't trust my car on it, period, now. Not when you see. Yeah, I think I was right. 
the other bolts. And they're loose. Good job. The bolts can easily handle this. I don't know if they're loosed, loosened up for adjustment, but I know they really need to loosen them up for that one. I mean, that's a big fail right there. And here are the decks yet again from this angle. This is the first level. All, there'll be three levels on all sides and that is just the ground, literally. And on the opposite side, as I've mentioned before, we have parking at the street level. So while this is level one, it's level two over there. But then again, the way they're gonna number the floors, it's probably, it's anyone's guess. But basically here's one, two, and three. While on side opposite down there is one, two, and then three. And that cross beam you see there is for this side. And as we can see here again, Another huge cantilever with just minimal support. I mean, for sparse human weight, that's not really much of an issue. But there's going to be a lot of shear on those bolts. I and mean, that just that just looks horrible right there. I mean, that that is crooked as all heck. I mean, there could be adjustments, because... Yeah, yeah, they fixed it a little bit. That one in the middle is crooked. Yeah. And there's the elevator shaft, which, per usual, nothing has happened. But then again, it's December. I don't think anything's happening there till the spring. Or if we get a really warm... Uh, bit gone here in terms of weather and there are the stairs and the landings and that's what we have next update will obviously have more steel and possibly more things to point at that just seem wrong December 28th 2012 my place of work is shut down till the new year, so I'm able to do a daylight update during the week, which means we are doing a first. The first time we're doing an update, well, people are still actually working here. They have done quite a bit since the last update. As we can see here, they finished the cantilever. I think that was the first four spans were already done to begin with. As you can see, we got the first four spans here. And over that way over here, they used to only have two spans finished on the opposite side. We'll get a better view when we go on the other side of the street, but they got four spans finished on the other side. And they're looking. We'll get another update a little further uh, that away. Now it's hard to see because of the sun. There's the end of the fourth section. There's five and six that they're working on. There are two ahead on this side and lag two on the street side. Because that's where they have the crane, which is right there, all the way up there. On top of that, they've actually went further and I'm not, not gonna zoom in super tight. They went all the way down this deck up to where the paved section is, which is covered in snow. And that's what we got for you. We're on the opposite side now. As we can see, they have finished the first four spans on this side. They're working on five through eight, where we just were. So it is coming along. Of course, it all slowed down when they were doing the tedious stuff here, like the stairwell landings and where the elevator shaft will ultimately meet. So that's what we got now. 
and the next update will be sometime during the new year. January 12th, 2013, the first edition of the new year of this parking garage project, North Leominster. Well, you know that from the beginning of the video. Well, it looks like we got some uh, shorter spans of corrugated steel, probably for the stairwell landings. Anyway, speaking of that, they have now completed eight spans on both sides, as we can kind of see, sort of. Still nothing happening over here. That's because they got the main steel work done. And they're starting to lay down the corrugated steel to make the decking, as we can see right there. Starting to spread it out, getting it ready for concrete when it's warm enough to do a pour. Anyway, if we go a little further over and we're aiming away. Somebody was sitting right there. We didn't want to get them on camera. So we can see over here, they've made some progress from the center of, over to this end. Now, when they started spans five through eight, which they only had, for the most part, laid down the steel just for the bottom section, there's just a little, oops. Let's see if we can get it. There it is. Oops, the holes don't align. Oopsie. Well, we know they'll fix that in a way, one way or another. So here we are again. They've come pretty close to laying down too far there. The deck, there's still a piece that's going to go over there. It's going to be trimmed to fit. Still get some more pieces there. And that little slip up is nothing surprising, being that if we look right there we can see the one beam that was a little short and it leaves that little kink no that is not an actual uphill climb that's an actual oops beam too short anyway that's what we got now and they've got all the way up to where the where the pavement is right here And this is where the game changes a little bit. As you can see, they now got the, they got the crane on this side, which is why they're even. And now they're gonna somehow go from there to here, but that's probably later on. And now they gotta span across the con, not the concrete, the pavement sections which includes the bus turnaround over there. It, and we'll continue just a little further up. Short update from this angle. As you can see, they're getting ready to park the crane as they've cleared off the pavement areas for it to fall on. Sorry about the tilt there. I'm holding this rather high. And from here, you can see they've added more wind bracing. And wherever the... Uh, footings are spaced about 10 feet or so there would be more of that finally we'll take a look at what it looks like from the front here in the front kind of in a company's driveway but then again there's nowhere to really stand here's the other end and here's where the steel is it's just a hair over half completed in terms of just the physical steel structure there it is there's one, two, and three right in front of you. That is one, two, three. And on the back side, one, two, and you can't see three, but it's up there. You can see the top of the post. And that's it for the today. Let's see what happens a couple weeks from now. January 26th, 2013. Not much happened over the past two weeks, especially the last week when it was extremely cold and well, 
can't really blame them for either not working or canceling or just sticking to other projects. But as you might be able to see here, again, they're laying down the deck, but they haven't gotten to this cantilever part yet. And they're starting the deck on what would be the second floor on this side. And they're making their way up around the corner. I think that was already there to begin with. And they never quite addressed that issue there where the holes don't line up. I gotta get that in frame. Yeah. And also, I'm hoping this is just temporary, but I gotta get a good shot at this here. Uh, look at that. Only four, only four bolts there. Two bolts there. And it repeats. There's even a section with only one. Is that just to hold things together for now? I hope so. I really hope they don't leave it like that. Anyway, not much to show you these two weeks for pretty much that reason. And plus they're splitting the teams to put down the corrugated steel for the floors. And a two four for the reason this direction is going pretty slow is usually every two weeks two sections get completed and that would be this one and this one and they're not even remotely close there's two reasons for that as I mentioned one is they're splitting up the teams and over here they're starting, here's another slowdown. They're starting to do the landings for the inner stairwell, which that's a project in, it, in and of itself, and that's what that hole is going to be for. And the second main reason is that when they were going really fast, they had tons and tons of steel at the ready to build this garage. and. They pretty much caught up to the supplier. So what happens obviously is everything slows down pretty much at the rate in which they are receiving steel. Because that's pretty much all they got right there. And over there, and behind the wall and behind the fence, there's more. So, I mean, that's all we got for now. And when the weather warms up and everything starts to uh, work together, we should have a bigger update. And that'll be it for now. Let's see what happens in February. Okay, it's February 12th, 2013. And this will be the last update in this particular episode. We can't see what's happening in the elevator shaft, which is nothing because of this big truck. However, the entire span, the entire main structure is complete. Even where the bus stop is. They only got two of the four uh, structural beams at the very top put in, but for the most part, the main structure is physically completed. The only other thing that isn't is the decking, but they're moving along. I'm sure you can hear that. And as you can see, the pictures were not inaccurate in terms of scale. Look at the size of the vehicles versus the second floor. Let's go around and see what we got. Before we go to the other side, a funny thing happened while they were building this. When they got to the 11th rib, which is, what's it, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 right there. They did the entire structure in the back up to the, that point, then came around and went this way. Makes me wonder how they got the steel in the last three sections when they were completely surrounded. We're almost all the way up. As you can see, the steel is all the way over. 
This is as far as she goes. And here's the bus terminal again. In front of those beams that are in the very center of your picture is the first landing, I would believe. And right over here would be the curved second landing. And again, the stairs and the handicapped ramp. Now to go to the back. Here we are in the back. I mean, you can't really see much more than what I've already shown you before. Except they almost got the deck done on at least this half, or this quarter to be exact. And a lot of these bolts were loose, but as they put the decking down, they've tightened them all up. And that brings us to this segment here. Once they've laid down the deck, they've straightened it all out. That's no longer crooked. Straight as an arrow now. And also, since they're laying down the decks, they've also put in all the bolts. As if you remember, I was showing you, the bolts were missing in a lot of them. Maybe there were just one or two holding. And one thing I cannot show you because people are there is the end that has absolutely no bolts in it at all. It's still that way. So they probably... Oh. Sorry for the camera there. They're probably going to... Uh, they, or they probably have welded that in instead of bolting it. And here's a nice up close look at the corrugated steel. So we're trying not to get the uh, construction people unhappy here. And I think still nothing at the elevator shaft. Yep. Still El Zippo, but that's another project for another time. So that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. This is George F551 saying, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>